with a shout. Huh? What else? Let's welcome the highest. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so much. God bless you. God bless you. I can see there is a lot of youths in the building, which is great. Pastor Brian, thank you so much for choosing me. I don't know what made you choose me, but I appreciate it. I've been looking... For, for some time, I've been observing the IES um, seminar from far, and I think it's very, very important, especially for the youth, to experience this. And I'm really proud of myself to be able to stand here today to speak to you guys. And I think the guy that just had the performance right here, the song you did, you kind of had me in mind for what I want to talk about today. I really don't know the words, but I know it's a feel-good song. I guess I'm right. And you showed a picture. No, this is too new. I think you showed, some, yeah. <laughs> Can you guys imagine this was me? And I think this is here, right? Wow. Now me bleedy. And as you see, I'm here then. I like this. This is going to help. Do you have more? This is really going to help. Do you have more? Wow. You're in 20 pounds, you know. Wow. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please. Can you, can you update? <laughs> okay. Let's take it to a new one, please. Because I want to start a story from this to that. What do you have of me now? And I say, and I say thank you to God Almighty for, you know, blessing me with all this, through all these years. It's not everyone who has the chance to move from that stage to this one. And I know I've been talking about this a lot. I won't take it back too much about Sarko in my life. Um, I'll make it short. I think obviously, I know a lot of people who relate to it started from hard beginnings and just making it to the next level. Not everybody will be able to make it. But the good thing is, let me make it a bit religious. When you start to know God, your understanding of life and how you treat everything around you changes. So as a young kid, the pictures you guys saw, I was with my mom, a very, very religious person who speaks to God like she sees him. Like when I was a kid, she used to talk to God like God is right there in the room. And when she's frustrated, She's like very mad. You know, when she's happy, she has this tone that she speaks with God. So as a child, I had this in my head that there's this man out there listening to everything that my mom was saying. Because whatever she says, manifest. Okay, manifest. Okay. <laughs> yes, everything that my mom said, I think, came to pass. That made me a true believer. And I'm just hoping that everybody in this building is a believer, right? And that name, being a believer, stands for a lot. That means you believe in something. You might not have seen the thing um, with your eyes, but you definitely believe it. My mom spoke into existence a lot that I've, you know, witnessed my life that makes me feel like that man up there that we're praying up to listens to everything. So as a child, I had a certain lifestyle that they really... Um, it, was, it wasn't normal when you compare me to my peers. My peers really, really like to complain a lot. Let me take this word happiness, if I can find somebody who can give me a good explanation to that. Happiness. Can somebody? 
Just one person. I need the explanation to that. Happiness. Is anybody willing to explain it? Okay, how I understand happiness is being content with what you have and who you are. Mm. Mm. Contentment definitely is a word in there. It's just having good feelings. Just you, it's a feeling that you have that makes you, you know, definitely happy. Everything is positive. And happiness comes when you know God. And I say it so simply, but it's very, very deep. Because when you get to understand how God wants us to be, being sad is human, but it should be there very temporal. You can never let that be a way of life as a believer. So my mom taught me that. So in the midst of my friends, when they like to complain about whatever was going wrong, I always feel like, but it will be regardless. You know, the pictures you saw, I imagined these things happening. I knew it was going to happen. But then I had to have the life of a believer. I wouldn't say my whole life was just tailored around the Christian idea that we have, you know, always in church praying to date. Um, Pastor Brian, you need to push me to go to church more. I've been missing some few days. That is not really a typical Michael strategy, always going to church, which is very necessary because it's a place where you guys fellowship and it brings you back to your core. But one thing I took away from, which I want to share with the youth today, big thanks to um, my brother, Beko Santana. He said a lot that really made sense on business. I think whatever you guys need to know about business, he said it, you know, about wisdom and you having a mentor, being able to like submit yourself and all that. All that comes with knowing God. It comes with understanding what life is really about. So happiness for a lot of people is expecting something to happen to be content with so that you can be happy. So you are waiting to build your first house, your car, get married, um, your business moving on so that you can be happy. The sad story is everything that you just named right now that you want comes when you're actually happy. And how do you do that? You need to find a way to keep that energy for the longest. Because something that works with the universe, definitely, that we all kind of know is the more you keep complaining, the more you are worried, the fact that you think you are worried because you want to get rid of, the, rid of whatever you're in, the truth of the matter is you're actually inviting it back to yourself. So I had a voice note for my sister that I was looking for so that the DJ could play for you guys and what she said, and I laughed the whole day. She sent me a voice note saying, Michael, do you ever get sad? And she was laughing. It's like, it's very serious. Since I've known you, have you ever been sad? I'm like, yeah, I get sad when... Okay, I won't say sad. I cry, overwhelmed, when I hear you guys scream my name, when I feel like I've been doing this for a minute, when I win the awards, when I go out and I still get the love that I always get for 10 solid years, that makes me cry. I think, I think, uh, we have young ones here, but I, still, I think they're still strong. So I was the DJ Switch, who I want to put in my next video coming. For the young ones, it's okay to be vulnerable, but you need to be looking forward to find a way to stand the world of great energy and positive energy. When you're vulnerable, you can be in a dark place. I'm not going to take that away from you. But you need to find a way. And that's finding a way is knowing God, understanding how God works. Then it changes your whole idea about how life is. So when it has to do with business, it has to do with anything, how you feel will be the end product of what you want to see. So if you are here, I don't know the situation you're in, and you are worried, you are so sad, you are like in a very dark place, very negative, everything that's going to happen within that time, what is business, friends, family, is really going to go bad. So answering my sister, um, I was laughing. I said, you guys have some funny demands when you guys call me. My sister will be in London, and her problem is that she wants her son to visit. That's why she's crying.
Now, a lot of you guys will be laughing, but if I could hear some of you, the reasons why you're sad will be way sillier than this one. Excuse me to say. And I laugh and she thinks I don't take her serious. I'm like, I take you serious, but I don't believe you're serious. That your only problem, your major problem, is that your son is not in London. And you are in London. My other sister will go like, oh, my kids and this. And Michael, you know how this is that. I'm like, you have two kids. You don't think that's a reason enough for you to be happy because you're thinking about how to take care of them consistently. As human, if you think about these things, you feel like it's a serious thing to think about. I have a song called Hope. I don't know if you guys know about it. And it speaks about this. It speaks about the fact that imagine God, imagine you being God and you have your children and you've been able to watch them through school. Some are 20, 30, some in your 40s. And then they sit you down one day to tell you that what have you really done for them? Because one is looking for a visa. Um, you are still renting. One needs, feels like they need a place of their own. One feels like you don't have a land that they can say, my dad or my mom got this one for me. So you looking at your son and looking at what you've gone through to bring them up to the state that they are. That's why your moms, our moms and our dads cry when we say certain things. So on a daily basis, these are requests that we push to God each and every day. And how sad God will be that Sarkodie has been consistent for 10 years and I'll be sitting at home complaining. And how was I able to do that thing for that 10 years? It's exactly what I'm telling you. Every single step of my life, I had to appreciate it. Every little thing that happened to me, I had to appreciate it. I was living with a woman in my seven, a very dark time in my life where I didn't know where my mom was. My dad took me there. Long story short, a very, very, um, what's the word? It was really bad, you know, when you'd be maltreated, you know where mom was, you didn't, you didn't know where dad was. Um, it's like in the movies, you will not even believe it. So for me, moving from that, even surviving that, because a lot of kids are on the street doing stuff because of these things, and I survived that. And today, even if I'm driving a Toyota, Toyota Kwame, Sanekano, even if I'm driving that, and I imagine my time from that time to this, I'm being ungrateful if I should say I don't appreciate my situation. So consistently, if you ask Sarkodie, how is it possible that you can have this appeal for this long? I feel like that. I believe that. I know there's something working which is bigger than me. Hard work is okay. Um, knowing the skill, that's, that's also a must. But trust me, you want to tell me that these rich people in the world are smarter than everyone else. Do you guys believe that? Okay. It's not possible. No one is smarter than everybody. God didn't create us that way. But there are qualities that we all need to possess as people to be able to break that bondage of you being in a dark place, which is the battle that we are fighting, especially for the youth and the young ones. For what we see, for what we see on social media, on TV, it's hard for us to really concentrate. And I get it. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and go like, you are wrong for feeling like that. It's really hard to fight that. You are on the ground seeing your friends posting up these bundles of money, got the new car, posted it up, acting like their business is going well, doing whatever, and you are sitting at home. Yes, the word is pressure. But I was always born with this sarcodia, this new sarcodia mentality, even when I was Michael Obusuado at Mile 7, um, Tema Community Night, wherever I hustled, I was still sarcodia mentally. So if you watch, I watched myself a while back, I think there was a, a video of myself and my colleagues, now some of them are huge, Yapono, um, Dr. Crime, we were in a bus, right? You guys saw that. And I was watching myself. And I could still see that I was still sure of myself that I was going to make it. And people would call that arrogance and having, you know, your, let's call it pride. You're like, you feel like you're all that. No, I just have this belief that my mom instilled in me that regardless of whatever was going to happen, 
even if there is a storm, there's always a way to move past that. And anytime I speak with people, I always keep getting that same feedback. Oh, ni hao, you don't have a problem. That is why you speak like that. You know, we have real problems. We are facing real life. Trust me, I understand what you're saying. I just didn't see it the same way you're seeing it. I've been through worse than you think you are going through, but I didn't see it the same way as you're seeing it. You are putting yourself down there. Nobody is pushing you down. I'm not saying people cannot spark that to bring you down, but you are helping and aiding them to make that happen. The old ones, this conversation is good for everybody, but normally, you know, we say the old ones, they're already you know, down with life. It's great that we have a room full of young blood and young energy trying to take the world. How you're feeling, what you're thinking right now is shaping your future. So one by one, you guys sitting here, if you ask yourself, how are you feeling right now? Make sure if it's bad, I'm giving everybody the next 30 seconds to snap out of it. You know what I do, which is funny? If it's kind of stressful for me and I'm thinking things are going really bad, I wake up early in the morning, hop straight to the studio, bump in some serious beats, rap, write, listen to things that will take my mind off. Inspirational music I love. My, my favorite all-time uh, gospel artist would be Yao Sapon because I think whatever he talks about brings life back to us. And that is where my energy has been for the longest. So when I use the term highest, it had a meaning. Because I'm, I'm on an all-time high in my mind. So all these business people, major people that you guys look up to, we also look up to, I had to mingle with them. I'm, I agree with my brother, Abeko Santana. My friends that I hang out with, let me say, um, the youngest might run around 50s. I have friends who are like 70 year old and I sit with them Fridays and we have dinner and we talk and I just listen to them talk. They never have anything to complain about. Like throughout the whole time, having a conversation, one even said, um, I said, okay, I think he's a fancy. He said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, No, it's not, it's not because they have money more than anybody in the world. It's just they don't understand the word uhia. Because we have used that so much that we believe in it, that it's there. There are a lot of people you guys are looking up to that has, probably don't have the, the money or whatever you think they do have. It's just how they feel that makes you feel like that. And opportunities keep opening because of how they treat life and how they see life. So me learning this and being like this because of my mom, over the years, I've stayed true to this belief. And it ran backs to God. God shapes your thinking. It shapes how you think. It makes you way more wiser. You treat people differently. Because I know, I've been there before. I was once by the studio side, and I would see Samini, everybody walking. You know, and they never knew one day there would be a guy called Sarko there. But I was the same kid that was out there. So the reason why sometimes you might see Sarko there do a song with an unknown, unknown artist it's because I've been there before and I understand. And that is wisdom. You get to understand life differently. So now when you're walking out and someone says hi, you don't say hi, you go and you fall. That same person might be the one to pick you up. And this is wisdom. So if you have a friend, a family member, whoever, who is so negative and always want to make things seem worse, than they are, I would really advise that you move away. If, if you are that strong to be able to still deal with them and not take whatever the energy they are bringing to you, fine, but I know it's hard, we are human. But you try to align yourself with people who have good energy to bring good things back to you. Entrepreneurs are in this building. The next um, despite is here. The next Sark is here. The next Mr. Brian is here. The plan is there, which is physical. Spiritually, how are you building yourself up for this long journey? Because trust me, it's not going to be easy till you die. That's a promise. It would never be easy till you die. Because the people that, the only problem I see when, when 
I get close to these rich and wealthy people. Sometimes I visit them and they have a little mattress at their hall. That's where they sleep. And I ask, in this big house, he's still sleep here. He said, um, when I think too much, I don't remember the last time I saw my main bedroom. Because I need to stay here, think through the night, and I fall asleep. Anytime that I see my phone ringing, my heart beats. And these people have sleepless night because they have built something that they need to keep up. So this is what you want to be. So when you get there, this problem that you feel like you have now. I, was, I had a funny joke with my team that, um, so if me, Sarko there, I'm in traffic at Kaneshi, just me, and I seriously want to pee. Like, I really have to pee in the traffic. How is it going to be if I don't have my team around me? That is a sacrifice that I've taken. There are things that I go through personally. Recently, I posted a video of me driving around the Titanic beach, and you guys were having, um, if I say you guys, maybe not all of you, but maybe some, some will be here. But you guys were having, like, fun playing music, you know, some holding their family's hands and just watching the ocean. And I asked myself, what did I do to deserve this? Because I love this, but how can I even get down to go enjoy this just myself? Which is a sacrifice I had to make. So whatever that you think you are getting rid of, there will be more coming whilst you're going. But how do you stay through to it and get through is the energy. And it starts now. I want to say this to each and every one in this building to swear to yourselves that you're not allow anybody mess with your energy especially with a positive one god bless you guys so much thank you all right so um i'm going to take two questions okay at least one here one on the second floor and the third floor and those outside okay who's coming please all right please come all right, who else? All right. Hallelujah. I'm so glad seeing my brother here. And I'm very happy because I, I just want to talk about, talk about, uh, talk about determination. Yeah? I'm, just, I'm just sort of worse. Yeah? This, this guy here has been a determined person. I started from the scratch with him on the street of Tema. And I'm just happy to see him here. And I think we have to take that act of determination from him. That's what I want to say. All right. Uh, thank you very much for your talk. It has been very enlightening. Okay. Um, my question is, what is one thing you never fail to do daily that not only boosts your business, but also boosts your brand as Sarkodie? Again, please, repeat. What is one productive thing you never fail to do daily that not only boosts your brand, but also your business? Yes. Making sure to maintain the same passion I started with as a young kid. You know, what, the reason why I wanted to do music, first and foremost, was not to make money. It's because I love music and I love the reaction I get from the people. So as soon as I lose that, I lose everything else that comes with it. Because the passion first then the money and everything that comes with it. So I make sure that I don't lose the passion. Yeah. Uh, thank you. My name is Isaac. Um, I work with Top FM. Um, Hama said something on an interview that you need to be taught in school. Uh, I want to know your take on what Hama said. And secondly, um, I've been following you a lot. And I'm, I'm a kid, but I want to ask you this question. You were saying something about God, God. Doing music, I've been sick any God apart from the one we serve. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I don't know your God. Yes, the one up there, definitely. That's the God we are talking about. And he said, Hama, yeah, Hama said it. Okay. That, that's, that's hard to comment on. You know, for me to be studied in schools, that's a huge thing. And I, I, I would take pride in that. That's a good thing to happen to me. Um, it has to be a decision coming from outside. I can't really decide that for myself because I don't look at myself to know the same feelings you guys have. Obviously, I love myself, but it might not be the same way you guys see me. What you feel when you see me is different. So I would like to take that 
um, opinion or suggestion from you guys than me saying it. Yeah. My name is Kosi Albio Mensa. Uh, I just want to know, I've been listening to your radio interviews, TV interviews, you almost every day swear negative questions. So I just want to know how you control the negative news and the lies on social media. Can we media. clap for him, please? And you guys, what do you think is the answer to that? Exactly what I was saying here. So you just make sure you keep the negative out of it. Because the way I survived was by what I thought, what, what I feel every day, how I see things. I saw myself taking the BET, I did. I saw myself doing things, I did. I saw myself going forward, I did. So I don't, I'm not ready for you to like catch that energy. So anything that's going to take that energy away from me, I don't entertain. So that's why. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, my name is Nada King. It's afternoon. Highest. Ha! <laughs> huh? um, I, I really admire you. Uh, I take motivation from you and from your songs. Actually, I always rap to some of your songs like Dakati people for show me support. Because I believe in myself, say, I will be the king and I will be the boss. So I always say, whenever I hear wherever Sarkodie is, I have to be there and to see Sarkodie and who Sarkodie really is because I always want to look up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've been looking for someone to take your sorrows all away. Want to hold you tight and say everything is gonna be okay. Kaisa pra will bring you now. One money who now will never ya. And then the nights will be dry. Hold on to your faith. Cause there will be a bright day. There will be a bright day. There will be a bright day. When I make you a Cause there will be a See, there will be a Cause there will be a When I'm in the world Bless you. Highly spiritual. All right. I want to do a favorite rap now. <laughs> All right. I want to give somebody 500 CD. Who can do a favorite Sakodia rap? If you can, come. Who is that? Who can do it? Can you do it? Come. Allow, allow, allow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Yeah. It's time to hear the word of God. Yen kambum nyenye bakun kreti one accord. All the things where they dream, but you can't afford. Lift your voice up. Raise your head up. Say thank you, God. Give me the strength to live, because I'm a weak soul. My life is messed up. It's like a freak show. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Is it your own rap? No, Oh, okay, okay. So, let it go. Yeah. It's time to hear the word of God. Yen kambum, nyenye bakun kreti one accord. All the things where they dream, but you can't afford. Lift your voice up. Rise your head up. Say thank you, Lord. Let's go. You know what time is it? It's your boy. Huh? It's time to hear the word of God. Yen kambum, yen yabakum, kreti one accord. All the things where they dream, but you can't afford. Lift your voice up, raise your head up, say thank you, Lord. Give me the strength to live, cause I'm a weak soul. My life is messed up, it's like a freak show. 
my aim to soapy, now me turn spring rose. Now so me pay sick at the moon, me call this sick at rose. Feel it. Come on, clap your hand. Come on, do it. No, no, no. Hey, come here. Highly spiritual. We. What else? Mishia gave you a candle. Now, I'm a council woman called Cansempa. The two band and I'm a sewer barbara. Your father was saying, Cosem at the barbara, a boy, the friend who will be a alias a man's son. Go What else? Read. Huh? Mishia gave you a candle. Now, I'm a number of council woman called Cansempa. The two band and I'm a sewer barbara. Your father was saying, Cosem at the barbara, a boy, the friend who will be a man's son. Alias a man's son. Go off with us. Dear no yet, dear no tongue was me. No one first year, well, they won't now open the hour. And you're sure you're so wrong. I Oh, let me pass my dear to the con. As my dear so, yeah, they took on. Oh, not to the one as a bond, no bond, shall make a time and it's here. Now what they are shut. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Huh? Oh my God. No, 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 Hey. Oh my God. What else? Yeah, but I, yes. Leave them rest. Highly yes, spiritual. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. OBD, number one. I'm the best MC from. OBD, number one. I'm the best MC from the Carol. C9, Samet, don't trust me. No sign. Alright, come on, clap your hands. 